The whole Olympic movement stands for the promulgations of values. One of the most important reasons for this symposium is to bring young people from across the world together to share in experiences, to share in an understanding of the importance of the values that underpin the Olympic movement, and above all, to search for practical ways through which they can promulgate Olympic values back in their countries. One of the things which is interesting in, in terms of what we've heard here at the symposium is that we've got people who are directly using the Olympic values and saying, how can we further the, the, uh, the progress and the development of this directly? Well, right now my work at UNICEF um, is focused on gender equality in education and trying to break stereotypes related to girls as well as boys. Through my research, I was seeing that sports can be used as a, a good catalyst in order to promote gender equality, that it can be used to break a lot of gender stereotypes that we have. What we are doing in Deportes para Compartir, or Sports for Sharing, is teaching children and their communities how to be better citizens. We want active citizens, active in the sense that they're interested and get involved in what's happening around them, and also active in the sense that they are physically, emotionally, and intellectually active. And what I did was I organized a soccer team, which its goal was to find African immigrants, undocumented African immigrants, to help them get to college by using sports. Playable or play able, depends how you want to pronounce it, because we focus on abilities, is uh, working with local and international organization to adapt their existing sports program to persons with disabilities. So let's say you have an organization using sports to uh, raise awareness about HIV AIDS and they include the youth in their programs, but they don't include youth with disabilities. Though these kids with disabilities can also benefit tremendously from these programs. Back in 2004, I brought a girls soccer team from Kabul to the States and the whole idea was to really teach these group of girls the sport um, and really hope that they would build upon some of the le life lessons they would gain from playing soccer and to be able to take that back home with them to Kabul. I think for these girls who are coming from a post-conflict zone at that time back in 2004, it was really about how to work together as a team and really work through conflict and issues of divisiveness. Sport is an international language, it's a universal language that goes beyond colour, race, creed and where you have that international language it can be put to good effect and looking for opportunities to embed sport into that and the Olympic values into that have got to be worthwhile.